Ladies and gentlemen, do not adjust your dial. This is not a rerun. We are in fact going back to mainland China for the fourth time in the past five weeks. Mm -hmm. I guess you could say we like traveling mainland China. We seem to be stuck in a loop. It <laughs> seems like from Shanghai to Chongqing, which was an eye-popping experience. And then unfortunately, a bit of a short trip in Harbin, where the ice festival really blew our minds. Oh, I love this place, man. <laughs> and now we're back with another 144 hour transit only visa free one city only trip meaning six days in xi'an let's go all right don't be shy it's time to fly <laughs> oh check it out Ivana. who needs first class when we're in the emergency row look at the foot room here oh yeah safety do you wear your seatbelt on the plane of course most people don't wear. No. Safety Steve. Emergency exit Steve. Always wear. <laughs> Touchdown, Xi'an. We have made it through yet another very smooth check-in process at immigration. Everybody there spoke English and was very good. Although, Ivana and I are a little bit nervous for this particular 144-hour visa because during this trip, it will be Chinese New Year. Oh. And the YouTube comments have been hit or miss whether Xi'an will be so crowded, it will be unbearable, or whether it will be so empty and everything will be closed, it'll be uneventful. Right. So we're not sure what to expect on this particular trip. So come along with us and check out our first ever Chinese New Year right here in China. I'm excited. I'm excited for this too. So let's uh, see what the festivities are. Let's go. Oh, panda. Welcome to China. Right here in the airport, we got a show about the one and only panda bear. <laughs> I am too. And Yvonne is also panda. <laughs> <laughs> With my panda head. <laughs> and so I guess our first step here in Xi'an will be to find a taxi. Let's do it. And I tell you what, similar to our arrival in Chongqing, we're outside, we're inside, we're on a bridge, we're in a mall. Right from the airport is a great place to cruise along. Although we are still looking for that taxi. Okay, easy peasy. So this should be uh, legit because yeah. it's registered with the airport. And it's meter taxi. Yeah. The meters in China are reliable. Yeah. Good. Okay. Hotel. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? Jin Mao. Jin Mao Hotel. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Sure, sure. Tell you what, this is a pretty good looking drive. We started off just on a highway, but the traffic has slowed down, and we've come to some nice architecture and even some sort of like city walls. I guess today appears to be a very gray day here in Xi'an, but the buildings are quite beautiful nonetheless. Okay, final price 119 yuan. Fair price. And let's see if our Alipay works. We're about 50 50. Actually, recently we've been better. We're about 75 25 on Alipay. Okay. Okay? Sure, sure. Great success. Okay, okay, sure, sure. So, first things first, we'll give you guys an accommodation tour before we hit the streets and look for some local Xi'an food, which, from what I understand, is something called a Xi'an burger. <laughs> Burgers? Is this my new favorite Chinese city? Uh, let's go. Oh, the one's making a friend. Okay, okay, no problem, no problem. Okay, okay. Oh, thank you, sure, 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 sure. Thank you, thank you. Looks like Chinese New Year decorations. Okay, okay. Shishé. And here is our hotel. Looks very festive. Although, to be clear, these red lanterns, you see them a lot in China, even when it's not Chinese New Year. So, unsure if that's decorations for the holiday or not. So it looks like our Alipay worked in a taxi, but no work at the hotel. Like I said, our Alipay has big personality. No problem. When Alipay fails, the credit card works. <laughs> And by the way, so nice staff helping us. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. 
o'clock. Okay. Okay. It's for for two o'clock. Uh, to the four. Ah. Yeah. Ah, it's free now. Ah, free. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Oh, some okay. snacks at two to four. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Ah, uh, thank you. Your pound is nice. Thank you. Thank you. Out of all the hotels, is the she stands out, right? She was quite thorough and quite friendly. Good job. And so, let's give the full room tour. The bathroom is actually pretty fancy. You can see with the sink and the mirror. There's actually three mirrors, and they're sort of cleverly spaced out. Something fancy. Shower over here with the glass door. Also looking new and modern. Although, you'll notice, there is no bathroom door, only a curtain. <laughs> Thank God we've been together for over 10 years. I was going to say, no one is allowed to eat beans on this trip. No three <laughs> bean dip for this trip. But the room is pretty good size. i uh, got some stylish pillows. Got a little counter over there with a bean bag chair, something new. Yeah. And a uh, table here we can edit some videos on. Just nice. Cool. Okay, so with that being said, I am super duper hungry. Let's get Let's go something to eat. Eat something! Oh my gosh, I love the outfits and hair. Looks amazing. Very pretty. Very pretty, that's right. Very pretty. And so, first impressions of Xi'an. I tell you what, this is a pretty photogenic city. For one, there seems to be more princesses out with their hair and makeup done than any other place we've seen, which is potentially related to Chinese New Year, although I'm not sure. But also the buildings are obviously modern structures, but with the traditional architecture on them and the huge pathway, it's a pretty great place to walk around. Although I can't walk much longer until I find this local burger. I'm led to believe it's everywhere, so I think we can find it pretty easily but uh, I'm getting very hungry. So next stop, Xi'an Burger. And I guess this is something you see a lot of here in Xi'an, and we didn't see too much of it in other Chinese cities. They're almost like tuk-tuks. Some of them are a little bit run down and kind of broken and look more like a motorbike, yeah. but we've seen some that are quite nice and certainly look winterproof yeah, and I just, solid. I just thought they were mini cars. It looks like a mini car almost, some of them. Yeah. Uh, to be clear, we saw it in other Chinese cities, but not to this rate. Seems to be something that really caught on here in Xi'an. Now this has got to be the place we'll find some street food. I'm guessing. Let's check it out. It's making noodles. It's always fun to watch uh, street food be prepared. Yeah, it is fun. It's so skillful and their heads are always busy. With the walk and the fire. The walk and the fire, the sound, the smell, the steam. Everything so, uh, so fun to watch. <laughs> and somehow we've managed to find every food under the sun except for this burger we're looking for. So I think I'm gonna call off the burger search and get one of these pastries. Looks good, no? Looks very good. Yeah. Hello. One. One, please. Oh. What's inside? Uh, okay. Okay. Cross chop. Cross chop. Yeah, good. Uh, how much? Looks good though, right? Uh, uh, Ten. Ten. Okay, okay, okay. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Uh, Ten. Ten. Ah, uh, ten, ten. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, good, 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 good. <laughs> lessons, lessons, Ivana. Good, good, good. So nice lady. So nice lady. So nice lady. Also showed us how to eat it. This might be the burger, no? Kind of burger-like. It's kind of like fried bread burger, but I don't think this is a burger. It almost reminds me of borek. Remember yes, borek? That's right. It's a bit like borek in uh, Eastern Europe. How is it? Mmm. Mmm. I think it has cabbage as well. Cabbage and onion. Uh, I'm gonna say five stars. Very good. good. 
Mm. Flaky and crispy. How chip? 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 I tell you what, the amount of times Ivana and I have walked to a local cellar somewhere in China and we found some very tasty, very warm, and even very affordable. Hello! And even some very affordable food. And it tends to be sold by uh, a really friendly lady who always reacts very well if you say shishe or hao chut. Um, I'm led to believe that every seller in all of China is the same way because the amount of times we've walked there and just bumped into someone very friendly, it, it's like a daily occurrence. And so sort of a good first impression of Xi'an. Be honest, in this, there's Szechuan pepper. Yeah, I think so. You can taste the tingle, right? The oil at least, uh -huh. I don't know. It's not spicy, but... I know the smell. Don't eat too much or we're really gonna need a bathroom door. Oh boy. <laughs> I think it's garlic, no? Huge bags yeah. of pickled garlic, right? I think so. Garlic. Actually, it's so yummy. Is this noodles? Yeah, noodles. Yeah, Like a little food delivery truck. <laughs> There's a lot of pickled garlic for sale. I don't know why, but it's so yummy. The smell stuff. is so strong. It smells strong, right? Yeah. I don't know if they're just eating the pickled garlic or putting it for recipes. Maybe eat it with something. Oh, I don't know. Just a few. But yeah, I told you. Like a warrior. But to be clear, you see 50 women for every one man. True. <laughs> so if anyone's gonna do it, the lovely Ivana. But the thing is, the comments are gonna come alive and say, Ivana, what the cost you on? Encourage her, guys. Encourage her. Get <laughs> to the comments and encourage her because she will do it. <laughs> Pause the vlog. Do you know what this is, Ivana? No idea. Sure, right? Is it food? Is it edible? It looks like sponge. Oh, it's to eat. Is it food? Sweet. Don't be shy, Ivana. Sweet? Yeah. Is it food? I think it's food. It looks like insulation. That's what I'm worried about. Like some sort of construction material. Are you sure? Try it out. You said to eat, right? I don't know. Good job, Ivana. You're fearless. It's sweet. It's sweet. It tastes like honey. Honey? Yeah. Pretty good. The texture is kind of like airy. Airy honey? The way you're describing it sounds very good, no? Would you say it's good? Yeah, it's good. Oh, wow, what a revelation. It's Big good, fam. no? Big fam. Very sweet. Candy, yeah. it's candy. You can buy some. You can buy some. Okay. Okay, okay. Maybe seven. I don't want too much. I tend to buy too much. The whole thing here. <laughs> the most I've heard, I've heard in China. Lots of whole What is he saying? He's saying... Oh, that's Chinese, brother. I can't read that. Uh, translate. Cannot translate. Will this be another uh, Chongqing fruit? I'm worried this is going to be another Chongqing fruit nightmare. One second, one second. Hold on, hold on. <coughs> Chongqing fruit nightmare. Okay, uh... Chongqing fruit nightmare. Okay, I want to buy some. So delicious. <laughs> okay. He's like, what the heck? You find it? Small amount. <laughs> Ten. You want? Oh. Oh, I'm on Korean, Ivana. I'm on Korean. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I still don't know what it is, but it's yummy. I can walk around eating that, munch on it. It's like honey, but very sweet. Okay. Shushay. Shushay. How to? How to? How to? How to? Yeah. Evan, you want some? Just walk in, Evan, no? 
Yeah, it's pretty. It good. gets stuck in your teeth though. Yeah. Well, maybe Plus don't chew it. Sure, like. Maybe don't chew it. Maybe just suck it. Cause it's so dry, right? It's so powdery. If you um, see how powdery it is? Yeah. If you just suck it. What's the texture like? It's like something I've tasted before, but I can't tell. Don't you just suck? Yeah. That big piece. Turn into this scary. little piece. See this little piece? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it is honey. Ah, maybe. Whipped honey. Maybe Could be wrong. Like Let me know in the comments. It's yummy though. I got bad news. I think this might be the Chongqing fruit. Oh boy. 2.0. <laughs> My mouth is starting to hurt. This might be artificial and nothing real at all. Oh man. This might be fake. My mouth is hurting. I have to stop eating it. I haven't eaten much. I've eaten tiny bit. My you mouth are, is... You're very easily lured. I'm a bad purchaser. Yeah. Bright things that I've never seen before, I'm sold. Oh boy. It's not good. My mouth is hurting. Like it's almost like I can taste blood in my mouth. Oh jeez. It's not good. I tell you what. Whatever they're selling at this restaurant here is definitely very yummy because there's got to be 40 people lined up for it. I see noodles. Maybe we'll go check it out, Ivana. Oh, it's actually like a butcher. No, no, it's fresh meat that they're putting in this soup here. But they got the meat on display, very fresh. Like a meat stew, I think. Something different and something very popular. And they're selling meat like that, are we? Yeah, I think they're also selling a meat like a butcher at the far end. I'm not sure what it is, but it's sort of intriguing, isn't it? Oh, look at that. I believe this is called century egg. So the reason it's got this like dirt on it is they actually bury it underground, right? I think so. And then it turns black from salt, right? I think so. Salted egg. It looks like rice, no? It looks like rice around it. I never knew that. To be honest, yeah. I've tried it once before. It's not my favorite, but it is a very interesting thing. Yeah, it tastes like jelly. Like it tastes like jelly and, and yeah. not my favorite. But it's interesting though. <laughs> Whoa. This must be sticky rice, no Ivana? I have no idea. Yeah, it looks like sticky rice. It's the most colorful thing I've ever seen. It's so beautiful, like cake almost. Wow. It looks like the Pakistani bread. I was gonna say, something about this bread looks Middle Eastern or like Muslim, right? doesn't it? Yeah. Like like it's cooked in a, yes it is. It is oh it yeah, is. oh wow. Tandoori. Look at that fish. Oh. Wow. Wow. I'll tell you what. Theme of our channel in this China series is things that you don't associate with China. Surprising things. That's right. Uh, Muslim food, especially the bread cooked in a tandoori. Didn't think I'd see that in a huge city in China. That's right. Something new. Yes, Something yes. unexpected for me at least. Yeah. I tell you what, this is going to be a very busy 144 hour visa free trip here in China because there seems to be lots to do here in Xi'an. So, for one, we've noticed lots of women wearing hijab as well as lots of halal restaurants. So there's a Muslim population here that I think Ivana and I will explore the history and the food in an upcoming video. Not to mention the terracotta warriors, which are really famous, especially on social media, are also here in Xi'an. And of course, like I said earlier, Chinese New Year. So in six days, we're gonna make at least six videos and it should be a very exciting trip. Wow, check this place out. First of all, it's a beautiful temple, but I think they've added extra decorations for Chinese New Year, which really uh, are quite magical, dancing above our heads. Wow. I think that these are the prayers for people's wishes for the New Year's, I think. Sounds right. Yeah. Wow. I'm glad we stumbled into this temple. Very cool. Now, one of the few things I know about Chinese culture because I saw it in Canada. I would call this an ung pao. Is it right, Ivana? Yeah. This is a red envelope, which you would put money inside and give to people, usually children, at Chinese New Year. Yes. You know we're married now, so we have to give out envelopes. Okay, let's buy some. Maybe we can give it to some strangers that we see in the street, some kids we see in the street, at the yes. very least. Well, yes, normally you give it to your relatives, but you can also give it to everyone. Sure. Yeah. Just we can do that. Okay, let's buy a pack of uh, ung pao then. Oh, by the way, Year of the Dragon. Ah, very nice. Year of the Dragon. The best 
of all the Zodiacs. Ivana says the best because she's dragon. She always, every time she talks about Zodiac, she always wants to add in, oh, by the way, dragon's the best. I'm the best. It's true. <laughs> you guys can, you guys can let us know in the comment. Do you agree or not? <laughs> okay, let's buy a pack of envelopes, Ivana. This one? Even 10 envelopes. We can give out some oh, to kids. This is English. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's the right one. Best wishes. Ken, let's buy it. Okay. Huh? Car to the shop. Everyone's getting their last minute shopping done, just like yeah. just like Christmas Eve almost. That's true. Okay. Shashay. Thank you, Shashe. Now, one more thing I know, or I think I know. Tell me if this is right. Kung Hei Fat Choi. I think in mainland China they say it differently. You just say Happy New Year. What's Kung Hei Fat Choi? Hong Kong. Cantonese. I don't know. Done. My thought was Kung Hei Fat Choi means Happy New Year. I know in Canada when we wish our Chinese friends Happy New Year, we say Kung Hei Fat Choi. Got it. But, but maybe I it's different here. Here is different. Fair. Yes. I tried my best. We'll find that. <laughs> That's the best I could do. And so I guess we've accidentally stumbled into a temple here where we are really starting to get some Chinese New Year vibes. Now to be clear, it is still a few days before Chinese New Year. And my understanding is Chinese New Year can be celebrated for like the entire month. Yeah. Whereas the 10th and 11th this year are the main mm -hmm, mm -hmm. days of Chinese New Year. So we're just before the 10th and 11th now, but we will be in Xi'an during Chinese New Year. So stay tuned to our channel in future videos to uh, see exactly what Chinese New Year is like here in Xi'an. Wow, check this out. This is right in the center of a huge roundabout and it's got that traditional Chinese architecture and what appears to be an ancient wall or some sort of original wall. And it's right in the center of the traffic. <laughs> Pretty special, no? <laughs> Pretty cool. And with this building beside it, which is all done up for Chinese New Year. Wow. Xi'an is a special place. It's a funny day today because the sky is so depressing, there's no life in it. And yet Ivana and I are both pretty excited to be here. So it's yes. a funny day where the weather is not matching our energy. We're both pretty <laughs> excited, but the weather is right. Oh. True, 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 true. <laughs> All right, so I think we found a burger. I think it's up here on the big board. We'll see if this is the one. Almost looks like a like a like a shawarma or a or a pita, kind of like, like sliced a, meat inside of a pita bread. We'll it's see. Like pulled pork, but I think they're not pork. I think not pork, but I know what you yeah, mean. It's that yeah. sort of shredded meat. Yeah, right. Let's try it out. Hello. Hello. Ah, uh, this one. Chinese pork burger. Oh, it is which, pork. Which one? Ah. This one. Two. Chinese pork burger, high quality. Mm. High quality. Two. Okay, two. I got the good one, Ivana. Yeah, sure. They have ordinary, pure lean, and high quality. Another. Uh, yeah, can't pay. Okay. Not bad price. 14 yuan for each burger. Yeah. Good price. Good. Shushay. Shushay. Thank you. Looks like they soak it in oil or something. I'm not sure, but it looks very tender. It looks very tender and, yeah. and kind of yummy. And I think they just take that that spoon and shove it in the bread. It just right, makes a, right. just a meaty, greasy bread. I think this is going to be really good, actually. <laughs> and the bread looks like that fried bread, but also... The same thing we had before, right? Yeah, but it also looks like bacon mix. Similar shape to the thing fried we had bread, earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, shashay, shashay. Second floor. Thank you. Shishi. Oh. Elevator? Okay. Here we can. <laughs> I guess the staircase is broken. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, so the world's longest burger hunt is officially over. <laughs> I'm realizing, I think I said something very stupid at the beginning of the video, what else is new? If you guys remember, we saw that butcher shop that was right. really busy, and I said the phrase meat soup because they were boiling a big pot of 
beef or right, pork right, or whatever it was. Right. I think they were boiling that meat in a way to prepare it for this exact sandwich. I think so. This is what we realized because this looks very similar to the meat they were selling. And uh, I think the preparation is sort of the same. To be clear, this whole sandwich or burger looks like meat and bread as the whole recipe. Yes. There's no, no sauce, no nothing. Mustard looks like it would go a long way with this one. Wish I had some right here in my pocket. Doesn't even think there's any onions in it though. This no. is just meat and bread. All right. I'm nervous. It, it could be very good, but I'm nervous. I need some sauce on it. <laughs> sauce for eating. Eat it. Mm. It's pretty good. Mm. The pork is very tender. The pork is very tender, and there's so much fat in it. It really is just pork and bread. Yeah. And the bread is like the consistency of a bagel, right? Mm -hmm. It's kind of like bagel like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it absorbs the oil from the fat mm -hmm. from the beak. And the top of the bread is hard, like a bagel. Mm -hmm. The inside is soft, and then where it meets the meat is soaking wet. The meat is very juicy. Yeah. It's soaked in there. Mm -hmm. okay. mm. It is good, but honestly, it tastes like the beginning of a good sandwich. It just needs some onions and pickles and mustard. What, for me, it's perfect. It's kind of like pulled pork. It's pork. It really is a pork sandwich. Yeah, but pulled pork, you add that barbecue sauce kind of thing. Yes, exactly. This Some kind of like flavor. pulled pork without the sauce. Plain. This yeah. is just the ingredients, pork and bread. Mm -hmm. I will say five-star sandwich. It is good. Especially on a cold day like yeah. this, it is a good sandwich. Five stars. For Although sure. most of the times you have this, it has some flavors on mm -hmm. it. Some sauces and stuff. Still I wouldn't good. say this is a burger, though. More mm. like a pulled pork sandwich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The burger has to be barbecued. The meat has to be barbecued. True, sounds right. Right. All right. So the sun is about to go down, which means in true Chinese fashion, the lights are about to come on. It seems like every city we go to, that a certain part of the city will light up and really come to life once the sun goes down. So let's go check out the old city wall to conclude our first impressions of Xi'an. And so introducing Xi'an city wall. From the sky, this place looks absolutely amazing. Love the yellow lights on the rooftops. Very reminiscent of Hongya Cave. And what makes this place stand out is when you walk in the front door, you walk through a massive tunnel of a 700 plus year old wall that at one time went all around the city of Xi'an back in the ancient Chinese dynasty. And when you come through the tunnel, the first thing you see is a absolutely massive dragon all up in lights very festive and very busy here because everyone is out taking their selfies and photos so let's see what we can see here at a place that is historic as well as beautifully lit up i think china is the best in the world at lighting things up at night every city we go to so uh let's explore and so what's incredible from up here on top of the wall is there are many really great viewpoints overlooking the rest of the city and you can see some cars and buses driving down there which are even sometimes driving right beneath our feet so this wall is about 14 kilometers long and it really is right in the heart of the city because it is where the ancient city stood and so you've got the history here with these incredible really modern and really beautiful lights that they put up and china has done a good job of keeping some historical sort of displays that almost make it like a museum feel also and so when you take the history the lights and you sprinkle on top a little bit of chinese new year it's truly a special place to be because uh so much energy here and so many people here out enjoying the uh very unique tourist attraction and i tell you what some really creative displays here <laughs> the teapot pouring <laughs> it really goes on and on and on forever yeah. and i guess eventually it loops back around and connects to the other side yeah i think so that would be my expectation but it almost looks like it goes all the way into the horizon right it's really endless it seems and it's so impressive look at this i heard of it i heard of it Guangzhou. Guangzhou. Ah, yeah. yeah. yeah South. Are you a traveling student here? Just traveling. Tourist. Visiting. 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 Visiting.
Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay, take a photo. Yeah, this girl wants a photo with Stevie. How cute. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> thank you, Shushe. Thank you. Thank you. So nice people. I said, hello. Do you speak English? I said, yeah. Can I take a photo with you? Okay. Where are you from? Canada. Oh, okay. <laughs> They're from Guangzhou. Guangzhou. And yet, okay. despite not being from Xi'an, they said, welcome to Xi'an. Very nice. They're representing their country. Yeah. That was nice. And so obviously the wall has been refurbished or redone many times since the 1300s, including where they've added buildings like this, which look seemingly brand new. And so it's nice to be here in 2024 when uh, there's no battles, there's no defense, there's no need for any army. It's just a beautiful light show and a great memory. I tell you what, some of these lanterns are, first of all, massive, but also really quite detailed because obviously all of the different colors but also all of the lines that do all the different accents and all the curves. Uh, really fun to kind of walk through and admire them all. Look at this. <laughs> I think it's hot pot. I think it's a hot pot in the background and this is like dangling bacon and yes. pork bellies. That's my <laughs> grand lantern. <laughs> it's very cool. <laughs> oh, oh, they got people's wishes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Look at this. So this is a lantern with a wish on it. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Instagram heaven. Right. I'm not right. exactly the Instagram model, but if one is, so <laughs> I'll be Instagram not real. photography boyfriend. <laughs> And so this is obviously the music section. We've got some string instruments over here. This almost looks like a traditional wind instrument where you blow on it. And then some really big and really beautiful looking drums. Wow. <laughs> and in true Chinese fashion, the attraction here is very well done and very elaborate and very well organized. Because our ticket is for a certain stretch of the wall and then further down is a different ticket. Right. And they do this to try and spread people out and organize the crowd. But it is still very popular and very crowded. I think uh, in China, during Chinese New Year, you can expect a little bit of crowds. I think so. It's fair, but it is really uh, kind of tight along the wall here. And typically at this point of the video, Ivana and I would be going for some food. Right. But we had that pork burger earlier and we cannot eat anything for the rest of the day. <laughs> True. That it's thing was happy. so filling. It's so juicy and meaty. It's like, not only am I not hungry, I can't even think of food right now. <laughs> so in terms of the final conclusion and the review of Xi'an, it was a good first impressions. Yes. We have a lot of energy inside of us for the upcoming Chinese New Year. It could be a very memorable sort of first experience for us and our first day in Xi'an did not disappoint. It was a good first day in Shanghai month ago, uh, month ago. It was a great first day in Chongqing. We loved it. Yes. Harbin blew our heads off and uh, Xi'an is yeah. not disappointing. So uh, places are different. Certainly. It's amazing that every city we've seen is yeah. totally different yeah. and feels different and is interesting in its own way. True. So this is why uh, we keep coming back to China. Okay, thanks for watching everybody. Hopefully we won't be overwhelmed on Chinese New Year. Yes, it's already a lot of people right now here. I think but it's gonna be more in a few days. I think so too. So we'll see if the comments on YouTube were right or wrong or exaggerated or underestimated. We'll see. Thanks for watching guys. Later. Hello. 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 <laughs> I think a Chinese person, typically they know they know the word hello yeah. and they want to say it to an English speaking person. Yes. More than 10 times in our trips in China. People say hello and I say hello and then they run away laughing. <laughs> hello. <laughs>